It's me, Simple Cheeks, and welcome to another speed build. Happy Sunday, and I hope you're all having an amazing day so far. Today's build is very special. It's part of the Kababayan Sims collab on Instagram, where a bunch of us Filipino Simers will be showcasing builds that are inspired by our homeland, which is the Philippines. It's also very fitting since we recently celebrated our 124th Independence Day last June 12. Anyway, I'll be linking everyone else's social media links so you can check their builds as well. You can also check the hashtag to see the builds both on social media and on The Sims 4 gallery. But yeah, now back to the build. We're currently in a 40 by 30 lot and new crest and I'm building a Filipino ancestral home that was converted into a restaurant. This style of house is called Bahay na Bato or in English, a house of stone, which originated during the Philippines' Spanish colonial era. The lower floor is built using stone blocks or bricks and the upper story is made out of wood. Usually, the lower floors are meant to be used for storage, uh, cellars, or business-related functions. And this style of Filipino house have big windows that are made out of Capiz shell, which is perfect for the Philippines' tropical weather. These days, it's very seldom that you see these kind of houses here in the Philippines. I think the most prominent ones you'll see are in Calle Crisologo, which is a street full of this kind of houses. It's a tourist spot in Vigan, Ilocosur, where they repurposed these houses into commercial spaces. There's also one tourist place in Bataan called Las Casas Filipinas de Acuzar, which showcases the Filipino heritage as well. Personally, I haven't visited there but I wish to go someday. There are also a few heritage houses here in Manila in the neighboring provinces where they turn it in, uh, into either a museum, a bed and breakfast or in this case a restaurant. So that's where this whole idea came from. Anyway, the whole upper floor is where most of the dining tables are. That's also where I placed the host station so the guests are meant to enter in the upper floor. The kitchen is on the ground floor along with the comfort room or the bathroom. I also added two private rooms downstairs that I imagined are meant for private functions or for bigger groups. This build took me, I think, about a week and a half to finish. I don't really have much time to sit down and build on weekdays since I have work, but I really had so much fun building this and I hope you like this one as much as I do. Anyway, that's pretty much all I have for you today. I hope you'll enjoy the rest of the video and the screenshots at the end as well. If you like this build, make sure to give it a thumbs up because that would really help me a lot. And if you'd like to see more content from me, you can also subscribe if you haven't already. You can also click the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I post a new speed build. This build is already up in the Sims 4 gallery. My ID is Simple Cheeks, which is the same as my YouTube handle and everywhere else. You can also find it under the hashtag Simple Cheeks. Thank you so much for watching and I wish you all a wonderful weekend. Let's talk again on my next video. Bye bye!